We've looked at both of these Stoga game products on the channel. This is the Pro Controller Alternative, and this is the Tom Nook style Joy-Cons. So I thought to myself, what would happen if I was to combine the looks of this and the feel of this? Well, you'd get this. This is an incredible pair of Joy-Cons. They look fantastic and they've got some incredible features. So join me as we unbox this and go through this. These are the Tom Nook Pro Joy-Cons from Stoga Game. Hello and welcome along. And as you saw in the introduction, we're going to be looking at this, something very, very special today. Spoiler alert, these are my favorite Joy-Con alternatives that have ever looked on the channel. These are brilliant for several reasons. Okay, so I've been playing with these for a few weeks now. I got them, you get them from Stoker Game. I'll leave a link up below where you can get them. And if you go and have a look in the description as well, there's gonna be a cheeky 10% discount as well. So go and have a look and you can get 10% off these. These are brilliant. So obviously they look like Tom Nook. They're Tom Nook style Joy-Cons. And as we said in the introduction, we've had a look at this, this, this kind of like pro controller, which is a really good controller. And we've also looked at these, which is a pair of Joy-Cons. And they're, they're great. They're nice and comfortable and they feel really good. This takes it to another level because it just looks fantastic. See, it really has borrowed the theme of this controller. So when you first get it out, you get, uh, as you saw, you get an instruction manual which tells you all about it. And you also get a USB type C cable, which I've plugged in here. And you also get this central bit here. So let's talk about this bit first. So this is what your Joy-Cons sit on. So they clip in there and it's also got a special feature because if you flip it up, there we go. It can hold two games and a memory card as well. And it's got some electronics inside it. So as you see, there's some LEDs there they will tell you whether you're connected to one, two, three, or player four. And for charging as well, that will flash, but I'll, I'll show you that later. Okay, so they can sit on there and they can be used off like a, like a pro controller, off your switch. However, one thing is it won't actually wake up your switch. Okay, so I just thought I'd put that out there. You will need to attach it to your switch first or turn your switch on before these will pair off the thing, but hey, not a biggie for me. Okay, so. Let's go over the Joy-Cons themselves, starting with the right one. You've got your X, Y, A and B as normal, and your plus button at your home, and you have a turbo button. A lot of controllers nowadays, the third party and of these Joy-Cons have turbo, okay? Whether you use them or not, it doesn't matter. You don't have to use it, but it's a nice feature to have there. And all the turbo does is when you set turbo, let's say, for example, you set turbo to A, it would rapidly press A for you when you hold it down, okay? So some games that might, might be beneficial towards you and the thumbstick here and if you notice the thumbstick it is quite small so i've got a regular joy con here if i hold them up can you see that it's a little bit small it's a it's it's about i'd say probably about a millimeter smaller but you really too you can tell the difference nice pullback nice flip it feels like there's a good weight to it i'm all about that i feel i think this is really a really nice controller and then the feel of the button press 
So the Plus is a little bit clicky. The A, the X, Y, A, and B, they feel like normal Joy-Cons. That's a good old clicking. So R3 is a good old clicking. And the Home just feels like a regular Joy-Con with these. And then over here, you have SL and SR, and then that's when you're connecting, because they will connect individually onto the switch. So you can have this as one and this as two, if you want to. And it will tell you which one this is connected to as it was looking for, it was trying to pair then. Once it's paired, it will say one, two, three, or four. And then moving on to back, this is where the magic happens. This here is your kind of like your pro feature. So this can be mapped to any of the buttons on here. So only this one will be mapped to this Joy-Con and we'll talk about the other Joy-Con in a bit. So you can have this being any of the face buttons. And let me tell you now as well, as you can see the bulbous of it nature, this is super, super comfortable, okay? So it just sits in your hand. So if you hold a Joy-Con, the first thing you do is hold it, you're holding it like that. If you flip it over, this button is perfectly placed for your middle finger. And I mean perfectly placed. There's no, oh, where's that button? I've got to go and find it. No. You put your you put your hand on it and your, your your fingers on it already straight away, and a girl really small thing is there's enough tension on this for you to be able to rest your finger on it without pressing it, but you need to press it. Okay, so you're not ever going to accidentally press it. I think that's really really good. It's the small things you you you, you kind of notice when you're playing, and I, I've noticed it on a couple of other controllers where I've had a um, like a, a button at the back, you rest your finger on it and you're suddenly clicking it with this. No, no chance sits on it and you have to click in. It is fantastic. Similarly with this one, let's start off with the back here. We've got this on here. As soon as you put it on, as soon as you put it in your hand, your fingers on that button straight away. Superb. And it is so comfortable. These Joy-Cons, the regular Joy-Cons, aren't particularly uncomfortable, but these just take it to another level. Lovely. As I said, all those buttons are all pretty much identical. The, the, the thumbstick is a little bit smaller, but it feels nice. And then we have the L and R on the top here. The ZL and ZR have a decent amount of travel, albeit on the Switch, it's digital. The D-pad as well, the D-pads are a personal preference, completely get that. But I've been finding this superb. It's quite high up, okay? So it's quite raised, as you can see, which I think that's really nice and it's kind of like a spongy feel to it, but you can do a roll around if you need to. Um, it, I, I completely understand that they're, um, they're a personal preference. And as well, while we're here, on the bottom of each of these, we have a USB type C port. So you get your included USB cable, you plug it in, and it starts charging this Joy-Con um, Joy individually. Now, they will charge on the Switch if your Switch is plugged in as per. They will not charge just by handheld on your Switch. Okay, so like regular Joy-Cons, stick it on, stick your Switch on charge, and these will charge up via the one cable in the back of the Switch. Or you can, when they're in handheld, charge them up individually. You'll have no problem with charging. It'll take a couple of hours to charge from flat through to full, and mine haven't actually run out of battery yet, so you're gonna get hours of play from them. Okay, so as we said, it doesn't wake up the switch. So all you do, all I did was when I put it on, I, it, it paired instantly. I didn't actually have to do anything. So normally you'd have to go, if it, doesn't, if it doesn't find it, you would need to manually, either with a controller or using the touch screen, go into controllers, go change grip order, and then it would find these Joy-Cons. But I didn't have to do any of that, but you might need to if you get them. Okay, so. When you plug it in, it will start charging. The switch is fully charged. But there we go, as you can see, both of the Joy-Cons are charging. Or if you didn't want to, you could just charge up your one Joy-Con or your other Joy-Con. It feels, this, this is the big thing about the thing, it feels so good to hold and it really is stuck on the switch. There's no, I mean, if you whack it, it's gonna come off, but it doesn't come off easily. And the button, if you can hear this, is a really satisfying click when it goes on. Really satisfying click, I love that. So it does have motion and it does have rumble. It's not gonna be HD rumble like the regular Joy-Cons. So you're kinda of gonna get a big rumble where you probably didn't expect it or a little rumble where you didn't expect it, but it does have, it's a decent rumble, but it's not gonna be HD rumble like these. 
As we said before, it doesn't wake up the switch and it also doesn't have NFC. So if you're gonna, you won't be able to use your Amiibos with this either. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into, uh, we're gonna go to our old favorite menu and we'll just go and have a look at um, the buttons and stuff. So because we're gonna ask about is Joy-Con drift. I mean, I've been playing with this for a few weeks now and I've had no Joy-Con drift at all, but really, realistically, would I expect Joy-Con drift after a few weeks? Probably not. It'd be a lot longer, I would think. But anyway, let's go and have a look at the control stick. So if I do the left control stick, as you can see, not bad at all. And then click the left, the right joystick. Not bad at all. Okay, so it feels really good. Let's quickly, while we're here, swap into. I haven't been on my island for a while. We've got a state of it. But these are already my favorite Joy-Cons by a country mile. They just feel fantastic. The main thing for me is the comfort and these buttons here that you can map to any of the buttons on the Joy-Con. Like I said, this one for this, this Joy-Con, this one for this Joy-Con. Okay, what else I want to do, we're just trying in some of my cases as well. So I've got a few of my big cases down here. So I wanted to try, because it is bigger than your regular Joy-Con, I wanted to see if it fits in some cases. Okay, so first up, we're gonna be looking at the Mumba protective case. I'll leave a link below where you can get all of these cases. But, so this is the Mumba one, let's see if it fits in. Look at that, that is a beautiful fit. Okay, so this, the beauty of this Mumba one, you've got this flap here to protect it. That is a lovely, lovely fit. So if you've got this mumba case, this big protective mumba case, it will fit in there beautifully. Next up, I've got the Satisfy for the OG Switch. This one, let's see if this fits in. It does fit in, however, because it is molded for the uh, Satisfy grip, it's a bit wobbly. It doesn't actually sit in there very well, although there's plenty of space, it's gonna rattle around. So, not the best. You've got the Satisfy case. Now we're gonna go to two Skull & Co ones. So this is the Skull & Co Crystal Grip case. This is the new uh, case from Skull & Co. Let's see if this one fits in. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so if you've got the Skull & Co Crystal Grip, that fits in there, an absolute dream. And then finally, the original Skull & Co grip case. Okay, so not quite, um, okay, it does fit, it's just a bit tight, that's all. So it will fit, it's just a bit of a bulge at the side there, which I wouldn't be too happy about. Okay, so if you've got this, or if you're gonna get this, grab yourself a Skull & Co Crystal Grip case, or grab yourself the Mumba Protective case, because this fits in there beautifully. This will be my pick. I just think that's an absolute, it's almost like it's made for it. Lovely. Okay, so there's a few cases for it to fit in. Um, I hope I've answered all your questions. If you have got any other questions for me, do let me know in the comments below and I will try and answer them for you. But hopefully I've answered them. Um, go and have a look down below of where you can get it. Go and have a look at that, that little cheeky 10% discount as well because I think these are by far my favorite Joy-Cons and they have lived on my, my uh, Switch and they will stay on my Switch for a long time because I'm not sure these can be beat because of the ergonomics, because of this button. 
I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, thanks very much then. As I said, do let me know if you've got any questions down below. Do comment if you've got one of these or if you think about picking one up. I've been console and tech accessories. This is the look at the Tom Nook Stoga Pro Joy-Cons. And until the next video, bye-bye.